Hi, my name is Kate Usher, and this is my book, Your Second Phase. And today we're going to be talking about some of the myths and the truths about menopause. And we're going to be doing it for a bit of fun by using a game of cobblers or correct. Now, for those of you who aren't English, then cobblers means a load of old rubbish. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing is, it will only last a year. Well, in the sense that medically, your menopause is the 12 months after your last period, it's correct. However, what we call socially and culturally your menopause is the time at which you experience symptoms. It's cobblers. And that's because the average duration that a woman will experience symptoms for is between four and eight years. And it's not uncommon for that to go on into a decade. Yeah, a decade. Okay, so next. There are 40 symptoms, which you think too high, too low, bit extreme, not extreme enough. Actually, it's correct. There are 40 symptoms and they affect every aspect of women's lives. And the issue is, is that some women experience none, others experience one and others experience many. But nonetheless, there are 40 symptoms. Okay, next one. You have to have hot flushes to be menopausal. This is cobblers. The problem here is that many medical practitioners are saying to women that unless they're having hot flushes, then they're not menopausal. This makes it very, very difficult for women to access support. Hot flushes are most definitely not ubiquitous. I think the latest statement is 79% of women will get hot flushes, but that leaves a lot of women who never even get a warm brow. Okay. It's a woman's thing. Well, in the sense that women experience it directly, then it is correct. However, on a wider social perspective, it's cobblers. Because menopausal symptoms don't take a day off. They don't go and take some time in the crash to give you some time off. They don't go on holiday. They come with you to every single business meeting, interview, social engagement, date, you name it, they are there day in, day out, every night as well. They never take a break. And if a woman is experiencing severe symptoms, it is extremely detrimental. I, therefore, I can guarantee that at some point you will have experienced a woman's menopause indirectly as well, probably without knowing it. I know that was the case for me before my menopause. Okay, so on the last point on that is that menopause isn't everyone's thing. It's not just a woman's thing. Right, the next one. Menopause is an old woman's condition. Of course it's cobblers. Now, the average age for menopause is 51. And that's the medical menopause. That's the 12 months after your last period. At that point, you are the on average 51. But that's definitely not the case for everybody. And one in a hundred women has their menopause before the age of 40. And there are women who experience their menopause in their teens, their 20s, their 30s, as well as their 40s. But if you 
recognize that it's likely that you will experience your symptoms somewhere between the ages of 45 and 55, and you're watching this and you're 42, it's something that you need to start to think about because it's not something that's 10 years away, it's coming up very soon. So no, it is not an older woman's condition. And the one of the reasons we think about that, we think that rather, is because the images that we see are usually of women in their late 60s, early 70s doing this. Well, that's not reflective of the age of the women who are experiencing it, or of the women experiencing other symptoms for that matter. So let's get it right. Next, it's as unique as your fingerprint. Are you sure? Are you sure? Actually, it's correct. And the, the issue, the, the thing for that is because there are some key variables. And those variables are, as we've discussed, duration. Some women it will go on for a very long time and others not. Next, it's the symptoms. Again, we've already talked about that. You can have one, you can have many, and you can have somewhere in between. And the last is the severity and the impact of those symptoms. They can go from virtually non-existent to annoyance to utterly devastating. And that's one of the reasons that menopause has been, if you like, swept under the carpet because it's complicated. But hey, life's complicated. Okay, so the last one. Menopausal women are past it. Of course, it's cobblers. Well, the issue here is that it's, this is usually around the superficial nature of attractiveness. And um, the problem is, is that as women age, they're not compared to each other of a similar age. They're compared to women who are younger than them. And actually, as they get older, they're strangely compared to women on the sliding scale in the opposite direction. So if you're 50, for some reason, you're compared to a 20 year old. But the danger of this statement is not just the attractiveness scale. It is the fact that it weaves its way into our subconscious and creates biases around our ability as professional and capable women. It undermines us and that is not acceptable. Look around you and see all of the powerful, incredible, intelligent women in this world, both at a local level and a national and a global level. It's obvious that this is utter cobblers. Okay, as I say, this is my book, Your Second Phase. You can get it on Amazon, order yourself a copy, let me know what you think. Speak to you soon.